everybody welcome to my channel thanks for joining me today I was digging through my stash and found this die that cuts this out um, from Spellbinders it is the Tammy Totoro um, tag die tag flip and it makes this really cute um, little tag shaped I can get fumble fingers here I just spent four and a half hours trying to fix my computer <laughs> And I don't know how to fix computers. Finally got it. But anyway, it makes this cute little tag booklet that opens up. And I've got some of my own digital papers here that you can find in the shop. And I filled it with the little papers that come with it. And then you just poke some holes in there. And um, I threaded some wax book binding thread through there. And then it comes with these hole reinforcers. And it's just so cute that I thought I would put on a few pieces of ephemera. This will be coming to my shop soon. It's some sepia colored uh, fashion plates. And then I backed it with some scrap here. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down. But what I wanted to show you today is sometimes you want a piece of ephemera on here, but you don't feel like coloring. Like I thought, I glanced down at my new at home in the wildflowers from Craft Consortium. Gorgeous stamps. Look at those. But sometimes you don't feel like coloring and you want it to match vintagey things like this. And um, so I thought I would try to take some of my leftover scraps from cutting out um, my journal pages and then I would stamp some of those elements on there and cut them. Look how pretty he is. You want to go ahead and just stamp on some printed paper and then you can fussy cut him out. I'm trying to pick the one that's the easiest to fussy cut and still fits on that paper. That way we can add some elements and you can take a whole eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, that's what these print out as, and you can just stamp a whole bunch of things. Okay, Like that. Also what's nice is when you do fussy cut you're not going to have a white border around there because obviously they are already um, colored and I am not a great fussy cutter so for me that's a win-win <laughs> I don't have to worry about inking the edges or any of that kind of stuff kind of works already done and you can do some more shading with some brown pencils or something like that you've already got the base there so that kind of already helps you out a lot of my digital files not all of them but a lot of them I do offer in samplers that I print out for you so uh, you do have that option Okay, I don't know, should I go in there? So here we have ourselves a fun little bird. Right now I'm focused on completing this little guy here because I think it would be a great little additive to a journal. And I have been making all sorts of fun stuff with some goodies. quick little ideas. Why not? <laughs> and then I'm going to go upstairs. I've got some parsley growing. I'm going to make some parsley pesto and put that, make a video about that in the shop or in the videos, YouTube videos. So yeah, I don't know. I think he's too. That's another little spellbinders die I found that I had. Makes this cute little guy here. And this is from the new Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, Sidekicks. Isn't that cute? That's going to go in a planner that I'm working on with some dies from Studio Light. Studio Light has been a fun find. And I have got ideas in the works there. Maybe he's a little smaller. Yeah, I'll put that one on there. These girls down. This is a great way to use up scraps too, by the way, is making these little um, backing papers to give a little dimension there. And let me show you what journal I'm adding this to. This is from Studio Light Essentials and it comes with this main die here that you could use all sorts of different ways and then you can fold it in half 
And oh, I'm missing the other, the other pieces in the other room here. Let me show you the back because it, it has a nice little um, bit here. Let me show you there. That one just there. So it's got that inner piece with the notches there. So that fits inside this one and makes this page. So that way, so here's my cover that I cut out of this main die. So it's like a giant ticket. It's my paper here, my artwork on there. Fun, fun. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's funny because this is when I painted it. It was really bright. <laughs> and um, so it's fun what you can do to it. But So I printed that. And then I have a couple pages here. One that I've just kind of sprayed and stenciled. One because this was a plain single-sided sheet. And then one of my graph paper that I have. Ledger paper. And then... Here's a different version with some fake washi there, and then some bits there to journal on. So I cut it out of that. So those are going to be my middle bits, and I'm going to put a few more pages in there um, when I get my printer. <laughs> my computer was not wanting to work. And then somewhere in there, so this will be folded in half, I can put my little, maybe I make a little pocket and put this little tag book in there like that. And then you can do other things, you know, on other pages with these other elements. Even these birds and things will go really nicely with that. Um, and for that matter, you know what you can do with this if you don't want to fussy cut that out. Look at this. Boop. Boop. Ink the edges and call it a piece of ephemera. <laughs> Showing you all my secrets. Okay, and you can put that in there. I'm gonna cut it neater than that, but you know what I mean. Um, and this little clipboard even fits inside of here. Look at that. This little sidekick design. So all sorts of things. And then this, when I'm finished, will be available in uh, the shop. So fun studio light die. That is studio light die number. It's called stencil. They don't have really great names for them, but stencil SL two five six. And um, it has this journal one. I have that one. I don't have that one, and I don't have that one, but I have a lot of the other range. They have these different ranges um, that they come out with, and the journal, well, maybe I'll do a separate video on that one. I don't know. I can't do it all in one video. I'm just blabbering, blabbering away here. Um, oh, also, I could use this. Um, this is the new studio uh, Elizabeth Craft Design Sidekick little foldy-up thing. And uh, it goes like that. And then you put these little um, reinforcers on there. I guess we can go ahead and do that because I got to do it anyway. So um, get some brad before you glue it together. So you cut it out like this. And then you put your brad through the little hole reinforcer like that. And then stick it through the holes that die, the die cuts out for you. And then you can glue the envelope together. The other hole. So fun. I love journals. I just love the process too, as well as using them, but just the creative process. I love old things. I love history. I'm going to rip a piece of this off. From the dollar store <laughs> burlap and uh, what's nice is it's woven so you can just go ahead and take off the little bit there so let's glue that glue the little sides down they aren't very big so you gotta kind of be brave I'm going to go ahead and fold that up most adorable little pocket ever and then with your string you can either glue this down or my brad's big enough that I can kind of wrap that around and then wrap it around here. That's off. And then it could be a secret pocket because we all love those. It's our little journal we're working on. I love it. A uh, secret pocket that you can put. Hey even blends in here because this is the same paper <laughs> uh, that someone can um, un undo. So you glue the back down and then you can even fit a couple of them on here because they're so tight. 
And then you have little, um, whatever, little folded up notes or little tickets, little things, memory things. So cute! So this was kind of a craft of me, I guess, uh, video. It was a little, little bit without direction, so sorry about that, but um, I just thought I would share that with you what I'm creating and some of these ideas, especially about stamping on um, already printed paper because then kind of all your work's done for you. Um, and I just think that that's uh, a great uh, little cheat there because sometimes you want that look of that um, distress look and what better way to get it than to stamp on the paper that you're already using. So uh, anyway, hope that inspires you to get down and sc scrimmage through scrimmage. That's not what I'm trying to say. Scrounge, I guess, through all of your craft supplies and find something to work on and uh, create something beautiful today. Thanks guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, if you could hit like, that would help me out a lot. And uh, if you could subscribe, then you, you will be notified for upcoming videos, both with arts, crafts, and cooking. Thanks so much for joining me and the occasional chicken. <laughs> Have a great day.